All right, everybody. Welcome to our Monday conversation. Today's Monday conversation, book club day. So I just finished today reading uh, Tony Robbins' Money Master the Game, Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom. And I have to say, this is the biggest book I've ever read. It was uh, 700 pages. I'm not really a reader. I have been trying to read more in the last couple years here just because I know it's a good thing and information is never a bad thing and it keeps your mind fresh. But wow, was this long. I bought this, for everybody who watches the vlog, I bought this in April when I was coming back from Florida. But anywho, um, great book. It The only downside to it is I feel like there's a lot of fluff in there as far as him like really building hype for some of the different sections. Um, but that's the only downside is the length of it. Other than that, the book is fantastic. It's not like a lot of financial books where oh, I'm going to teach you how to get rich or how to do this or how to do that. And then they just kind of give you like a basic outline. But in all reality, all they want to do is sell you to come to their seminar, sell you their online product or whatever. So they don't really give you a whole lot in the book. He actually lays out all seven steps that you need to take for financial freedom, the exact like okay invest this use this that kind of stuff and actually goes and talks to experts about investing as to where you should put your money and what you should do with it etc and not just one expert he talks to i want to say there's at least a dozen in the book that he talks to um and i mean we're talking the biggest names warren buffett ray dalio um the guy from jp morgan i mean we're talking huge huge investment names and another great thing about the book is he doesn't just teach you about um, financial freedom and you know monetary uh, success. He teaches you about emotional and um, spiritual kind of, for lack of a better word, enlightening and success, and how you know doing some of this stuff will help with. The monetary stuff so very interesting in fact the whole end of the book is all about giving back and you know how, how that makes you feel and how that will help you and basically how karma is almost like real um that if you give you get type thing so it it's a very very good book i'm gonna link it down below so if you guys want to go pick it up i would highly suggest it i think I bought this in an airport, which airport prices are never cheap, and I think I paid like 15 bucks for it. So I'm sure Amazon prices are going to be cheaper. I mean, I don't know right offhand, but I would highly, highly suggest if you've been thinking about investing, if you want to invest at all, if you do invest and you just want to get some more information about it, I would highly suggest this book. Um, now, I have watched some of his videos on YouTube that are supposed to like mirror the book and talk about it. But they don't go in depth like the book does. Obviously, with 700 pages, there's a lot of time there to tell you different things, um, and so you don't get that online, uh, especially in like YouTube videos and stuff. But it's it's a great read, and I, you know I'd love to go over more stuff about it in depth. But honestly, it's been so long. Like I need to go back and reread parts of it um, to really get the information down up here. Um, but I have a basic outline from the book and I have a couple other books I want to read right now. So I'm going to move on to a different book and then, uh, I'll always come back to this one. I've, I've got other books that I've read before that I've actually read two or three times. A big one is Be Our Guest, uh, Customer Service. I actually... This is this one I've actually read twice, cover to cover. Um, it's a Disney book, and it's called Be Our Guest. It's all about the art of customer service. Great book. I'll link this one down below too. If you're in the customer service industry, whether you're management, just a you know frontline staff member somewhere, whatever, highly suggest reading it. It will help you tremendously. It'll help you with your staffing, everything. So, um, but anyway, back to the Money Master. Like I said, he, Tony Robbins. I think he's a great guy, honestly, and he, like I said, really lays it out, like, down to the point of, if you really like Ray Dalio, and you want to invest like him, well then, he tells you, hey, this is where I put it. I put this much in gold, and I put this much in stocks, and this much in index funds, and yada, 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 so if you really want to invest like him for the long term, boom, you're in, you can do it, so, highly suggest it. 
would definitely read if anyone out there is looking for a book to read hell go to the library and rent it this is this book's been out for like years now and it's been updated so this last update that i read here is like 2014 so it's pretty up to date so yeah if you're looking for one definitely would suggest it that's all i got to say that's been a monday conversation we book clubbed it this week i'll link both books below to the amazon links go get them people thanks for watching we'll see everybody for a regular vlog tomorrow